Soft start. Now we're looking at the waveforms here from L1 to T1, and this is with the motor stopped. We have 122.6 volts AC from L1 to T1. Now let's start the motor. I notice that when we do start again, you'll see some SCR firing. It's phase controlling that power out to the motor. Let's go again. three phase off from L1, L2, and L3 so I don't get lit up when I move these probes. Okay, 220 is off. 
115 is off. We're going to commit to T2. 115 is turned back on. T20 has just been turned on. Now let's look what waveforms we have here. for that motor to coast to a stop with no load on the shaft. All right, let's go again. L3 to T3. We're going to look at the waveforms out to the motor. We're looking at T1 and T2 right now. And uh, there's no voltage out here yet. We have 130 millivolts AC. You can see it right here. Basically zero volts. Now, let's run the motor.
look at it again. Turn the 220 volts AC3 phase off. Turn the 115 off. And we're going to move to T3. Now we'll be looking at T1 and T3. Things powered up again. Here we go. Let's try it again. And notice the phase firing when we start this motor up. See that? Let me power down. And we'll look at T2 and T3. Right, let me move this probe to T2. Power back up. It's a good running soft start we got here. <laughs> I'm going to try not to get in the way here. But I set my meter to ohms mode. What's the tripod, people? And it doesn't matter. Clarity doesn't matter. Let's go this way. I'll take, put my red lead on L1 and my black lead on T1. And I measure 1.399 ohms, 1.4 mega ohms. Now let's go to L2 and T2. And we have 1.933 mega ohms. Here's L3 to T3. And we have 2.9. Let me get on there. I'm not getting in there good enough. Let me find a shiny spot. Find a shiny spot. I can't see the meter. <laughs> well, we, got, we got... Oh, it's dancing around all over the place. There we go. 
we got 1.56 mega ohms. You see how high that is? That is up in the mega ohms. Now let's, we got another soft start over here. Let's go take a look at it. That's good. You want those measurements to be in the high kilo ohms to mega ohms. Now, this one here has bad SCRs. Put my red lead on L1, my black lead on T1, and look at that. We have 17.65 kilo ohms. That's basically a short circuit when we're supposed to be up in the mega ohms. Okay, let's go L2 to T2. There, that's where we should be at. There's 1.84 mega ohms. Here's L3 to T3. Ah, there's another problem. That's 20. Point, well, no, wait, I take that back. That's 200.8 kilo ohms. That's still too low. There's a problem there, too. So, this soft start is going to need new hockey pucks. <laughs> hockey puck SCRs. <laughs> so, we saw what a good one looks like, and we see what a bad one looks like. Alright folks, thank you very much for watching. That was a lot of fun. I like working on these things. I like working on these things. They're not too hard to get apart. They're a puzzle, but not too hard. Hope y'all is having a good day. We'll see you next time. Evening all. Here are the control connections to make the soft start run and stop. It's the Allen Bradley Soft Start SMC Plus catalog number 150-A180NBD. Now, we have 110 volts AC single phase coming into terminal 10 and 60 on the TB1 terminal board. The stop switch right here on terminal 30 is a normally closed push button that goes up to the L1 side terminal 10. The start button is a normally open push button. It goes terminal 40 up to the 110 L1 on terminal 10. Now down here on terminal 50 is an overload input and I just jumped that out. You can put an overload switch. That ties to L2 neutral on terminal 60. Now inside the uh, control on terminal 70, 80, and 90 is a relay. The normally closed contact on 70, the common contact on 80, and the normally open contact on 90. When the soft start is stopped, the relay is de-energized and we have continuity from 70 to 80. When the soft start is running, the relay energizes and we have continuity from terminal 80 to 90. Now this is all you need right here to start and stop that Allen Bradley soft start. Very easy hookups, I like that. <laughs> okay, now we'll look at the line voltage and the motor connections. Now up here on L1, L2, and L3 I applied 
220 volts AC three phase. The data plate for the drive says that you can use 200 volts AC three phase to 460 volts AC three phase on L1, L2, and L3. Down here, I used a 15 horsepower motor made by Baldor connected to T1, T2, and T3. Very simple, very simple connections. Now I'll move this out of the way and we're going to look at uh, some of the innards of the control right here. Up here is terminal board one. And we're going to look at some of the electronics connected to terminal board one. I got to hurry up, it's getting dark out there, I'm losing light. <laughs> okay. Now here is the L1, L2, or the hot and neutral input to the control, to power up that control. I didn't follow the whole uh, circuit out. I just followed it to the bridge and the bus capacitors. Uh, here we have a fuse, an MOV. There's a 22 ohm 1 watt resistor in series with this side of the bridge rectifier. Here we have the bridge rectifier and two bus capacitors, each being 150 microfarad, 400 volt in series. Now when you series capacitors, you add the voltage. So in essence, we have 400 plus 400, an 800 volt capacitor right here. Here we have terminal 30, stop, 40 start and terminal 50 overload and out here we have an optocoupler this is an AC or a DC input optocoupler part number HCPL-3700 and in this Allen Bradley soft start they're using the AC input here on terminal 30 we have a normally closed push button up to hot, terminal 10, and we have a normally open push button up to hot, terminal 10. Terminal 50 is the overload input and that goes to neutral on terminal 60. Now we push the start push button on terminal 40 and AC flows through the AC input of the optocoupler back to 50 then to neutral on terminal 60. When we push that start push button relay 1 energizes and that connects hot on terminal 10 L1 to terminal 30 through Relay 1 through this optocoupler AC input out 50 to neutral on terminal 60. <laughs> that's, a, that's a mouthful right there. <laughs> now what does Relay 1 do? If we have an overcurrent condition with the SCR hockey pucks or if we have a heat sink over temperature condition relay one will open up and stop that drive from running that motor will coast to a stop isn't that amazing <laughs> okay there is the circuitry for stop, start, and overload. Here are the last three terminal connections right here, 70, 80, and 90. This is inside the control. We have a Relay 2, RLY2. And as an indication back to the machine, when the drive is 
not running when it stopped we have continuity between terminal 70 through the normally closed contact to terminal 80. When the drive is running Relay 2 energizes and closes this contact right here and then we have continuity from 80 through the closed switch here, the closed relay contact, and back out terminal 90 right there, indicating that that drive, that soft start is running. There you go. <laughs> That's all the control circuitry right there at terminal board 1. All right, folks. It's starting to get dark there. <laughs> I'm glad y'all come over to see what we're working on next. So if you ever need, you can look at that uh, video right here and and hook up your Allen Bradley soft start and get it going. <laughs> it's much easier, I find, when somebody explains things to me. I can uh, I can uh, see what they're doing, how to, how, how to make these things go. Much easier than trying to figure it out on your own. It's always nice to be helpful. Oh, oh, one more thing. There's a plastic cover that goes and covers up all this metal. Uh, you saw the Allen Bradley soft start without that plastic cover installed, so be very, very I can't I can't stress this enough. You got to be very careful when this thing is live, when it's energized, when the power, when the line voltage is applied to this thing, because every inch of metal on this thing carries the current. It has voltages applied to every piece of metal on this thing, except for the mounting plate that you hang it up on the wall with. <laughs> Don't touch the metal while you, while you got this thing powered up. Um, it'll make you for a bad day. <laughs> okay, folks. Thanks again for stopping by. And we'll see you next time.